This is an ultrasound study of a 40 years old female with the history of pain in the right lumbar region. I am intentionally showing you <coughs> the left kidney in longitudinal section measuring 9.9 uh, centimeters in length and uh, 3.6 centimeters in anterior posterior diameter. In the, in the parenchymal echogenicity is normal, central sinus echocomplex is okay and there is no calculus no properly unseen. This is the urinary bladder in transfer section and this is part of the spleen that is that you are viewing. Now I'm going to show you the let us study the right kidney. Now this is the right kidney. This is the lower pole of the right kidney with the uh, normal parenchymal thickness, normal echogenicity, normal intact cortical medullary differentiation, and uh, the central sign of complex is uh, normal. No calculus is seen, no focal length is seen, lower pole is okay. Now from the mid to the upper pole region, we see a solid heterogeneous mass measuring approximately 6.2 centimeters by 5.3 centimeters. Now this mass is not giving any mass effect on the adjacent spared renal parenchyma that of the upper, lower pole or inferior pole. No dilation of the callus is seen. The focal region is well demarcated, as you can see. And it moves with the kidney over the iliosoas muscle. Now this is the iliosoas muscle. This is the kidney. And this is the mass with internal cystic areas, these few internal cystic areas. And so this, it moves with the kidney. Its echogenicity is more as compared to the adjacent uh, normal renal parenchyma. This is the lower pole renal parenchyma. And you know that the echogenicity of this cetogenous mass is more as compared to this uh, in the old normal renal parenchyma of the right kidney. This is the longitudinal section of the right kidney. Now I am going to give a sweep to the probe, uh, keeping the mass in view. This is a 180 degree sweep that I have given to the mass. Again coming back to the normal position. You see the movement of the mass with the kidney. It is distorting the... Now from here onwards, you, we do not see the capsule of the kidney. Rather, we see mass. It's, uh, ele it's elevating and uh, the peridinal fat is not seen in this region, in this view, but if you view from this angle, then you will see that it is sharing the uh, capsule of the uh, kidney. Now this is the lower pole, this is the parenchyma, and this is the capsule, whereas you see this, this from up, this is the mass, up to here. This is the lower pole of the right kidney and you see this is the capsule and the capsule is being elevated by the mass this is the capsule so it does share the capsule it elevates the capsule of the kidney very renal fat is not uh, realized and this is a complex mass so this is a RCC uh, Real cell carcinoma 
of the uh, involving the upper and mid regions of the right kidney. This is the longitudinal section. Now this is the portal vein. And here is this is the aorta. This is the spidermis enteric artery rising from the aorta. This is the head of the pancreas. Here comes the portal vein and uh, immediately we should be able to see the IVC and this is the inferior vena cava, this is the IVC. There are no lymph nodes. Now you know that RCC suppressed through port, uh, uh, the renal veins and arteries. So what we will suggest is that this patient should go through contrast uh, CT scan and MRI along with the other tests to rule out any spread of this uh, Though so, uh, seen is that this is the uh, artery is patent, but we must go for the liver is coarse and. Uh, Gallbladder is free of any calculi. The liver is cirrhotic. This is the liver. This is an additional finding. This is the cirrhotic liver. This is the cirrhotic liver left lobe. And this is the supreme. This is the left kidney. So, this is the case of the day, the RCC right kidney.